You may sell closely related products that share most common properties, but that each vary slightly. For example, suppose that you're selling a pen that differs by the color of ink, the style of pen, and the brand. In this case, you can post the pen as a variation listing, with each of these minor differences assigned to a separate SKU. The grouping of the variation parent, in this case the pen, and its variation children, in this case each difference in color and style and brand, is called a variation. Let's see how easy it is to create one. First, open the Products Variations tool to see system-wide dimensions available. Dimensions are the actual product differences, like your pen's color and type and brand. You can search for dimensions that are appropriate for your product. But you can also update a dimension before choosing it. Here, we will change the pen's color dimension by adding two more values, green and red, for a total of four values. A value is a unique property of each dimension. The updated color dimension is now ready to select for your variation, as shown at right. You can also add new dimensions here with their own unique values. Just click the plus sign to open that option up and enter your dimension's values. The dimension's name should be relevant. In this case, we're adding a dimension called pen type. The display name is the dimension name that appears on a channel. Use a logical abbreviation for the dimension name. You can omit manufacturer and product type unless you want them for reference and then click on next to save. Now you will add values to the dimension. Values should have logical names and abbreviations, just like dimensions. Keep adding values by clicking Add New Dimension Value. Click on Finish to save all your values. The new dimension is now available for your variation. Note that each variation can have up to five dimensions. You can also have what is known as a primary dimension. This is the image that appears on the channel when buyers choose the variation product on the channel. In this case, we'll use the image from the pen's color dimension. Now you can click Next to see all your combinations. If a variation product becomes unavailable, you can remove it from the listing anytime. Just hover and click on the Hide icon. And then just as easily show it again on the fly when it's available. Save the variation combinations you decide to use. You'll want your variations to have images, so click on the Edit button and start to upload your pen's color images. Since we chose color here for the primary dimension, we'll upload new images that clearly show what the ink looks like. Repeat this same process for each variation product. You can preview your uploaded images to check their appearance. Now let's see how easy it is to update your variations. You can export the list to a spreadsheet that you can use to enter new variations with new values, and then import the file back to add the new ones. You can also disconnect the whole parent SKU relationship here, and you can quickly add any currently hidden variations back to your listing. Just by selecting the ones that are now available, 